Hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining in the Riders United YouTube channel. This is the channel where I release uh, weekly videos related to the motorcycles. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please uh, like and subscribe. You have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen. If you hit the bell icon, you will get notification each time I release uh, new videos. And in today's episode, I would like to show you how you can uh, quickly restore a really nice, uh, beautiful look of your engine in case it's a little bit dull after some miles on your bike. And that should be a really quick episode, so please uh, stick around and I will show you what I got. Here we go. So a few years ago, after I make a few thousand miles on my bike, I noticed that the finish of my engine, especially the black part, was kind of dull and they'd have like some of the, some of the gray residue that I didn't really like. I tried to wash the engine and it helped a little bit, but it still didn't restore the really nice look that I have after I purchased the bike, which was like this semi-gloss finish on the engine. So I was looking for some products to restore like, like this really nice look. I have to say I went to the dealership and I was uh, talking to salesperson behind the counter uh, wondering if they can recommend any specific product for this purpose and I have to say they actually have recommendation and it was a uh, engine brightener from Harley Davidson and I actually have one in here and this product uh, is a silicon based product and it's, it's heat resistant and I was uh, really curious uh, why they have different product because they also have this uh, cycle care product and this one was the Formula B and I was really curious why would they even recommend any other product than Harley. So after like a few minutes of the discussion with the salesperson and asking those questions, he told me that uh, sometimes the finish that the uh, Harley Brightener spray will leave is a little bit too shiny and many customers uh, didn't actually like it. And he mentioned that the, this uh, Cycle Care product will leave this uh, semi-gloss finish, which is uh, closer to the factory look. And this one is actually not a silicone base. So both of them uh, will, be, will be really resistant to washing the bike for quite some time. But it was, it was mentioned to me that this uh, Cycle Care product will last up to uh, six or eight months on the bike after initial cleanup with this product. And I have to say, I use this product for about uh, three years right now. And I have to say that uh, it's definitely true. So each uh, year before the beginning of the season, I will just uh, simply spray my engine with the Cycle Care spray and this uh, protectant B and I will just uh, let it dry. And after that, the engine looks uh, brand new for many, many months. And even after you wash this bike, this will be still a really nice uh, protection and it will uh, still keep this really nice look. So before you apply this uh, product, you would like to make sure that everything is nice and clean. So you can wash your bike, make sure that everything is as clean as possible after, after the normal use and you would like to make sure that your engine is completely cold to the touch to make sure that you don't apply this to the really hot engine and after you will have this uh, spray you will notice that you have uh, two different uh, ways how you can uh, set up the spray so this one is the wide one and this one is the narrow one so depending on uh, how much you like to control the spray you would like to make sure that you don't over spray this product on any other surfaces, but it's actually safe for the chrome. And I apply it sometimes uh, by mistake on uh, some of these uh, uh, covers in here, as well as on the paint from time to time, and it didn't really do anything. So what I will do, I will try to start with this uh, narrow spray and try to spray it between the fins of the cylinder to make sure that uh, all this stuff is like nicely covered there. As you can see, it will be rather wide residue initially, but they recommend that you will just uh, leave it as is and after it dries, it will actually be nice and clear finish. So you can just spray it really nicely and maybe for the, for the cylinders, you can actually go a little bit wider just to apply this really nice mist. 
So that's basically it. All right. And we'll do the other side right now. As you can see, it's a little bit messy, but you don't have to worry about this. There will be like nothing that is, uh, that is uh, staying on those cases, but it's probably a good idea to actually like wipe it down. And we'll do the opposite side right now. So similar situation in here. Can go a little bit closer. Make sure that you have like nice coat of this product between the fins. Make sure you have nice coverage on the cases. So everything look brand new after you're done. All right, that should do it in here. All right, that should do it. So yeah, basically this is how easy it is. We're gonna just wipe it down a little bit. And like I said, this product is really safe for any other surfaces that are powder coated or painted. So you don't have to worry too much about it. We'll just let it dry and it will dry really nice and it will actually have a clear finish. So this will help to make sure that everything is looking really nice. You might have a little bit of the mess under the bike because obviously the product will run on the ground. So I'm gonna just wipe it down after I'm done in here and let it just sit for a few minutes. And after that, we'll just wipe the access of it. And after that, that should be done. So let me just wipe this down from under the engine like this overspray. I have to say the consistency of this product is somehow similar to like milk. So it's, it's really nice in touch. You can say that this is nothing like uh, harsh chemicals that uh, sometimes you might have uh, spray on your bike. But yeah, this one is a rather really safe product. And yeah, it have this really nice uh, sleek feel, kind of like a milk is a little bit uh, sticky initially, but after it dries is nice and, and smooth on your hand, kind of like you will apply your hand cream. So as you can see, there is just a little bit of the residue, but um, after it dries, it's actually turning clean. So I would like to show you this really nice uh, sheen that this product will leave. And yeah, like I said, this is like really beautiful look. I have to say this is as close to the factory look as, as it could probably get. And I mean, this is a really awesome product. I really, I really enjoy having this really nice clean engine through the whole season and just uh, do this uh, simple job for a few minutes each year is definitely worth it. So I will have to say the one thing to remember after you spray this, especially on the garage floor, make sure that you wipe it really nicely because this is uh, slightly slippery to make sure that you don't like fall when you try to move your bike after you do this job. But yeah, after that, you should be fine. So this is uh, everything that I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, episode today. And as always, uh, I would like to ask for your uh, subscription. I really try to grow this uh, community on the channel. I always uh, appreciate every person that is uh, subscribing. And if you hit the bell icon, you will get notification each uh, time I release uh, new videos. You can also find me on the social platforms uh, such as Facebook. I have the group called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. This is the place that you can ask me the question in the real time and I will be always uh, happy to reply and, and uh, get some of the ideas for the future videos. You can also find me on the Instagram, uh, TikTok and the Twitter. So those are the places that you can catch with me on the daily basis. And I will be always happy to maybe record the video based on those suggestions. And as always, I would like to say thank you for your time and please uh, ride safe and I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye bye.